looks like Royal is going to start off with the ball first, but Braxton is on the sideline. That's going to be returned on the right side, trying to bring it back across the center of the field. Gets it to the 34, so a decent return coming out there. And is Braxton good to go? He is at 196 ping. And they are going to have to use their first pause of the game, trying to get Braxton back in. They are unpaused now. Looper rolling to the right. Throws quickly, and Taylor is going to get an early pick. Now, Polar Opposite is going to start on the second play of the game on the opposing 39 as Magician... Looking deep downfield, looking, but GG is going to get the pick right back. So two plays into this game, and we already have two picks. Rolling out left, able to dodge the pressure, should be able to step up. Going to throw the ball, and Zero is going to make the grab. He could have stepped up there to allow a better throw into a more leveraged position. But it works out anyway as he runs for another first down. Looper on the run again, getting five more yards. Backing up really far. Throws this one away. And having the running back lineup on the weak side, he's going to take the run, getting a first down. Now let's see what he can do with it here as player is going to get the sack from behind a loss of seven. Just dropping back. He didn't even really roll to his side. And is going to throw this one dangerously. And find zero. For the first. Cooper runs it up to the three yard line. Looper drops back. Trying to step up into the pocket, and Alucard is there. Dropping back again. Holding that S key. And throws it short. And Taylor going to pick it off. Diving to get past the 20. And I believe somebody took a time out there. So somebody wasting one of their timeouts very early. As Magician will roll to the right. Avoiding the pressure just barely. Time and he runs. 
getting a lot of yards, taking it all the way down to the 46. 25 yard run. Magician trying to roll left, but not Braxton is there for the sack. Magician able to just stand in his pocket, rolling back to the right. Just so much time and decides to take the run now. Making a two miss, getting 14 yards to get all those yards that he got sacked for back. So a third and 10 situation. Addition, again, plenty of time. And he throws this one deep down the field and finds Taylor. Magician was a quick pass to Rawlstock. Rawlstock trying to find the edge. Oh, he does not make it to the end zone, but he does get 12 yards out of it. Magician runs up the center for the touchdown, and P.O. will take the early lead. And going for two, and they find Rollstock. So an eight point lead. So B gonna be on the return. Finding a lot of room up the middle and gets it to the 34. Looper drops really far back again and finds GG. So what I'm noticing from Royals is, I mean, you can definitely see just the S key meta, if you would call it. And Glooper tries to step up that time, but it gets batted down. And that's probably why you're seeing this S key uh, come out from Glooper. I mean, you can see he's already back about 20 yards, 25 yards at that, and gets another bat down. But you just got to roll out and try and step up to the pocket. Glooper throwing deep down the field, but it's out of bounds. A fourth and 10 situation now. And four-man rush. Looper throwing. He finds zero, but zero not able to make the first down. A magician throwing deep down the field and finds Rawlstock. But you can definitely see the difference between these two offenses. Where Magician just has a ton of time just staying in the pocket however long he needs to. But Glooper has to hold that S key. Magician taking another run getting three more yards. I would not be surprised if P.O. start to run away with this game. And Magician finding another rushing touchdown. And they are going to go for two again. Quick pass out to the right, but that is going to be intercepted by Gigi. 
He's going to be tackled after bringing it out of the end zone. So, P.O.'s lead is going to be 14-0. to zero. Out to left, Matt. Mate or Mata. Brings it 25 yards to the 31. And not able to find anybody there. But again, you can see how far Glooper is going back before he's able to throw the ball. And short pass, not able to find zero. And all of the line pushed forward. It was a delayed run. And Glooper rolling right. Oh, he could have had zero there. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. If he threw it deep downfield to zero, I think zero would have had it. Now Magician taking over. Stepping up into the pocket. Going to take the run. Making a lot miss, but he steps back. So... What could have been a 7-8 to eight yard gain now only turns into a 5 yard gain. And Braxton starting to lag out again. Magician rolling left. Gonna go end zone shot. And Bobito gonna get the touchdown grab. And P.O. is starting to run away with this game. And Moonball. And that is going to be converted. Patch made by Alucard. And on the return, getting it to the 30. Stepping back and gets it to the 32. Looper running it up the gut finds a lot of room. Getting 11 yards. Looper fakes the run. Might have GG over the top, but he's backing up. He didn't even need to back up there, and he throws it into triple coverage. And no one comes down with it. And that's going to be short, and that is going to be picked off by Magician. He's not even under that much pressure. If he would just step up into the pocket. And Magician runs for two yards. So, P.O., I mean, I don't know if they're going to try to run up the score or if they're going to try to just waste clock. Magician... It's sacked by BB Plus after holding on to the ball for about 15 seconds. Addition. Quick pass out to Rawlstock. Rawlstock trying to find some room for the first down. Not able to get there, but does get 15 yards back. So, fourth and seven. Only a three-man rush. Finds Bobito. Bobito gets the first down. I 
position with plenty of time able to avoid all the pressure and is going to have blocks downfield making some moves going to get tackled from behind by glooper position rolling left again plenty of time bringing it back across he counter rolls and he's going to run. Hitting a first down. They're just getting way too much time. Royals not able to break through the line at all. Position. Finally put under some pressure. But he breaks away from it. And going to take the run. But only getting two yards. Magician, quick throw out, but Gigi going to get the interception. Looper going to take the run for one yard. Looper. Getting another run for eight yards this time. So it is third and one. 30 seconds left to go in the half. And he does get the first down, but they're going to need some pass plays here to try and get into the end zone. Loop dropping back way too far. Step up. He does. Throws it down the field and finds zero. 13 seconds left and they could find their way into the end zone here. Rolling left. Backing up. There's no one near him. Why are you backing up? And he throws this one extremely short to Taylor. And that is going to be half to. I'm very confused why he backed up so early. They really might need to change uh, their QB. Alucard returning this to the left side. Not able to get away from Hero or Gigi, actually. Magician gonna get sacked. But now he gets back into the regular. No pressure. Magician taking another run. Royals need to put pressure on Magician. He's standing in the pocket. And he finds his way out to the right. Pass out to Rawlstock. Rawlstock. Making it a first and ten. As Magician finally gets put under pressure but rolls out to his right. Easily avoids it. And is going to take the run with Alucard. Getting a good block. Can they get a block on GG? They are going to get into the end zone on that run.
he just has so much time that all the safeties and cornerbacks are so spread out down the field that when he steps into the pocket, there's no one there to contest. Now, getting it out to the right, getting a good return. And Taylor going to get the tackle there after Mata gets 31 yards on the return. And a run up the center yard gain. Looper under pressure has to drop back throwing it it's gonna be short again and somehow GG comes down with it Looper taking the run up the right side Dropping back really far. He's still out of my camera range. As Gigi gonna make the grab. That was actually a pretty decent throw right there. Gigi actually steps up. Wait. No, that was Glooper. Glooper steps up in the pocket. I thought it was Gigi for a second. I'm like, wait, hold up. Braxton not able to move. MJ Nance going to get the sack. Third and goal. Might just lob this one up. He is. And that's going to be intercepted at the one by Ralstock. Well, the Royals' first, po first points of the game be a safety. Not yet, as Magician runs this one for two yards. The Magician finds room, gets the first down. Magician rolling right, finding room, getting a lane. And getting it 20 yards down the field to the 32. As Magician again stands in the pocket. Finally rolling out left. Counter rolling to the right. Too much time. Center of the field. That's going to be a pick. And now as Royals take over, that is going to be batted down. And Glooper going to run this one up the center for three yards. We're rolling right. Throwing it short to Gigi, who makes the grab and gets the first down. Looper. Throwing it down the field. Can he find his man? No, as Rawlstock going to get the pick. How many picks are there this game? Rawlstock has two and Taylor has three. Magician going deep downfield himself and going to get caught by MJ Nance.
32 seconds left to go in the third quarter as P.O. driving down the field once again. And plenty of time in the pocket. They just can't break through that line as Rostock makes the grab, taking it to the five-yard line. And Magician runs into the end zone again. And lob pass, not even close to the end zone. Alucard makes the grab, but not even sure what that was. Kick off to the left. And they're going to get tackled before the 25 at the 24. Quick pass, but that is overthrown. Looper rolling out to the right. Might look down the field, is going to, and that is going to be picked off by Magician. Magician trying to step up, but is actually going to get sacked this time by B. And only two people blocking as Bobito will get the ball. Bobito trying to make some moves, gets 12 yards, make it a third and nine. And Magician backing up. Actually able to step forward. He steps to the left. Plenty of time and it's only two blockers. Throws it deep down the field. And going to be caught by Rawlstock. And a moon ball. And it's going to be caught for a touchdown by Rawlstock. And another moon ball to go for the two point conversion. And Alucard comes up with it. And another return and is going to be a quick tackle at the 21. And nothing there. So now... Chan, I think that's Chad, makes the pass to Gigi. So they did switch out Glooper and put him on the line. As I believe this is Chad, takes it up the center for two yards. And fake run, throwing it to Glooper, overthrown for him. Rolling out to the right. Tries to find downfield, GG not able to toe drag that one in.
Rolling out to the right. Looking deep downfield. It's short and it's... Well, actually, it was actually too long. And that is going to be a turnover on downs. And quick pass out to Rawstock, who gets the first down and more. Rawstock brings it all the way down to the six. And Magician backing up, throwing Moonball end zone again. I think this is going to be over everybody. Now let's see what Magician decides to do here. Three. And it's out of bounds. Now with two minutes left to go in the fourth, we already know who's going to win this game. And P.O. is just throwing up. Lob passes and they're getting the scores off of them. Looks like we're going to do the same thing again. Oh, but he tries to run and he's going to get sacked. And on the return, only getting it to the 22. Their special team, I mean, they're having trouble all around on Royals. Rolling to the right, throwing it down the field deep, and that is going to be picked off by Taylor, and Taylor has four picks this game. Way too much time. Just way too much time. Down the field finds Taylor. Magician going to take another run up the center and three yards with a minute 31 left to go in the game. They're looking to put just a little bit more points on the board and it's going to be picked off by Glooper. And rolling out to the left. Three people blocking, but they're still getting through. Gigi makes the grab. 13 yard gain. Rolling out to the right, finds Gigi, but Gigi steps into Taylor. And rolling out to the left, less than a minute to go, second and three. Going to take the run, only getting two yards. And gets the first down. And I think they're just trying to run out the clock now. Pulling out to the right. Trying to get away from the pressure. 
throws it to a wide open receiver, but it's going to be picked off by Taylor. He was wide, but he stepped back out of the way of the uh, spot. I think he was thinking he was going to go a little bit further, but that was not the case as Taylor got his fifth pick of the game and now gets another receiving grab to get another first down. 27 seconds left to go. Magician, just so much time. Throwing it deep downfield and finds Bobito. End zone shot, nothing there. 11 seconds left to go. Three receivers over 100 yards, one of them over 200. As Magician drops back, throwing end zone, and that is going to be intercepted by zero, so they will not get one more score. Six seconds left, and the clock will most likely run out on this play. Backing up, throwing it deep downfield, and it's going to be caught. But unfortunately, nothing really comes from that. As P.O. just kind of dominate this game 48 to 0. Looking at these stats, impressive from P.O. 451, 204 receiving yards for Rostock on 8 catches, 100 in 4 for Bobito, 104 in 3 for Taylor, Taylor with 5 picks. That is absolutely insane. As you can see on the other side of the board, I mean, not really that much uh, impressive numbers. A total of 195 passing yards from both QBs. Only two receivers were targeted that entire game for them. Hero got 105 yards off four catches. GG gets 90 yards off seven catches. And even though it looks five, six, even though it says Royals has more sacks than PO, PO, I mean, well, you can't really get sacks when Glooper was dropping back about 40 yards and then throwing it for a pick. But. I mean, that it's just crazy how much the PO line just dominated the Royals line. At times, there were two blockers for, for polar opposites, and Magician would still have about 10 seconds of time. Whereas on the other end, PO had, had sent two rushers at one point, and I believe still got a sack. Two rushers against three blockers, and P.O. still got a sack. But, yeah, that's how the game played out, and that is going to be it for me. I covered two games. Uh, you'll see those up later on YouTube. But Sunday, we're going to see who's going to get in and who is out. So look forward to the games there. The big one, I believe, is going to be, let me look here for a second, because there was actually going to be a huge game that basically decides who gets in and who is out. Standings. Or, uh, no, 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 I want schedule, schedule. So, on Sunday... There's going to be Dr. Nidos versus Fade. 
but the big game Dragoons versus Goon Squad. Because I believe Goon Squad actually have to win this game to move on to playoff. I mean, well, they have one more game, I believe, before that. But if it ends up coming down to that, Dragoons and Goon Squad both need that win. And Hunt actually... It looks like they had to do a restart at half or something. But, I mean, they dominate IP 63-8. to eight. And Hunt on their way to getting a playoff spot as well. All they need to do is get one more win. And I think they're in. This is going to be... This is going to be crazy coming down to the wire for a couple of these teams. Because you got Alien... Goon Squad, Aztecs, and uh, Huntsman all trying to fight for that last spot. Well, technically the last three spots, but all of them are neck and neck. While Dragoons are trying to come back on the other side of the board and win out the rest of their games. And... And they're hoping Dakonidos lose their final game against False Idols. Just going to be a very, very interesting situation at the end of this week. So I'm going to go ahead and manage that prediction. Choose outcome. Polar opposites win. And thank you guys all for coming out. And I will see you on the field next time.